You don't like it. <laughs> no. He watched one documentary on Netflix called Seaspiracy and my life hasn't been worth living since because God forbid I order products anymore. Yeah, I, you know I edit these, right? I can just... <laughs> 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 I can leave it or take it. Take it or leave it. Hi guys and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you watched our last vlog on Chinatown in London, you would have seen that we went and picked up a whole assortment of snacks and treats and goodies all from this Korean supermarket. So now we are going to do a little taste test on them and see which ones we like and which ones we don't like. So first off, we are going to try the shrimp flavored crackers. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. Okay, Lee, go for it. Fishy? Oh, oh is it fishy? <laughs> I can't smell anything. It just tastes like corn crackers. They're not spicy though. It says they're hot and spicy, but they're really bland. I don't think they're hot and spicy at all. I'm not getting any kick. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Down. Thumbs down? Mine's just this. They're, I don't love them, I don't hate them. They're just mad. Moving on. Next up we have Cancho Choco Biscuit. If you have ever watched any of King and It's vlogs, they're travel vloggers from Wales. They play a game called Cancho, and apparently it's a game that Japanese school children play. And if you want to know how to play it, look it up, because I'm not saying it on this channel in case I get demonetized. <laughs> Their packaging on this is so cute. Even the inside of it. Oh, they look really cute. Here. The outside biscuit reminds me of, um, you know those biscuits you get for children and kind of babies? They're called Farley Rusks. That's what the outside biscuit of this tastes like. And you know, the inside's like a very mild, like not overly sweet chocolate. But they're nice. Okay, up next we are going to try the Pocky Sticks. And these are banana flavored. Now banana is my favorite ice cream flavor. Banana and caramel, I think it's called like Chunky Monkey or Crazy Monkey or something like that. And I'm hoping this is what it's gonna taste like. Really interested in it. These are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Everything is so cute. It literally a tiger on it. It's so lovely. Oh, very good. They're just like the Mikado sticks with the chocolate around them. They're nice. They're really nice. They taste like banana pancakes. That's what they taste like. At least go in for like a fifth one. You like them a lot. I've never my tea. <laughs> <laughs> so far, my favorite. Now, I'm excited for this one too. This one is bubble tea mochi, and it looks really good. I've had mochi before. When I worked in Bloomingdale, there was a yogurt shop upstairs, and they, I used to get mochi in my frozen yogurt. Lee's not tried mochi, but he is a massive fan of bubble tea. They're huge. Oh. They're huge, wow. Well, they feel really weird. They actually... Oh, what? Well, they actually they feel like hairy as well. They don't feel hairy. What are you talking about, man? This is what it looks like. Powdery on the outside. Squidgy. Oh. <laughs> what is that face? You don't like it. I, I can taste the bulb now. Did you get the bulb in the middle? Lee, that is nice. Give it another go. You're just... I think the texture's throwing you off. It tastes like... Combination of Turkish delight, <laughs> sambuca. Sambuca? Where the hell are you getting sambuca from? It's like an aniseed you taste. I can't get that. I just, th I think it's really nice. Okay, we're getting thirsty, and this I'm very excited for. This is possibly the cutest drink I've ever bought. They had other ones of these. They had like Pokemon ones, and they had little smoothies that almost looked like toys for children because they had like a cap on them that was a bear. Very, very aesthetically pleasing Korean supermarket. All right, so this is called Ocean Bomb. This is peaches flavor, and I'm just think it's just basically sparkling water that tastes like peach. Oh, it's nice. Try that. It's really nice. I like that. You know what I mean? I think that's really nice. I can't believe you don't like that because I love peach iced tea, and I like peach mimosas. And I love water. <laughs> Delicioso. Let's move on. So we have two more things to try and they are both noodles. So I'm gonna whip them up quickly in the kitchen and we will come back and try it. So it's hot chicken flavor ramen. It's, wow, it's hot and spicy. There's a kick <laughs> Oh, wow. Woo. <laughs> They're really good. Can I have some, can I some juice? <gasps> I'm breathing fire over here, man. I'm dying. They're not even playing with this. I feel like the cartoons on this make it seem like it's kid friendly. I feel like the cartoons need to be more aggressive and more vulgar to like fully convey how spicy this is. That, that big fire. That, that <laughs> <laughs> it's written right on it, it says fire. I didn't notice that. It says fire right there. So Lee picked out our final item. And these are instant noodles with octopus flavored spicy sauce. However, in the corner, it says irresistible sweet spicy taste. 
so we will see. My mouth, I don't know if you can hear when I'm talking, my mouth is like salivating trying to cool it down because it's so spicy from the last dish. Mmm. 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 Mm. No. I think we're okay. I don't like them that much. There's a weird like aniseed taste of it. Yeah, that's what, maybe that's what it is. It made me like gag almost. They don't have a massive fish taste to them, but they do taste, of, they've got an aftertaste of aniseed. It's not going to be for everyone and unfortunately I think we found someone who sits on the other side of the place. <laughs> I love the last ones. The chicken ones are my jam. These ones, definitely not. So that's all the snacks and treats that we had to try. There was a couple of things that we would like either take it or leave it. Leave it or take it. <laughs> But all in all, I'm really glad that we tried something new. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, goodbye, and good luck. Tadao. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to say goodbye in Korean. Tadao. Goodbye in Korean. Okay. Bye. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere.